So it had been raining for days and I thought this is the perfect weather for my October book haul. It's gonna set the right mood. And then today we're back to summer and I'm dying because it's way too hot in my room, but I'm like, I need to film now because my roommates are not here. And so we're just gonna go with it. Hi guys, I'm Franny and welcome back to my channel. Today we're here to do my October book haul. I have a lot of books to show you and let's just say that I have three different piles, okay? Because I bought a few books, not many, just a few books, and then I got some books from my local library and then I also got some books from work because there was like a closet with a lot of books and they needed more space and so they told me to put like all the books in a box and to like get rid of it and put it somewhere and they also said that if I saw something that I wanted I could take it and of course I took advantage of that and I got some books from them uh, I don't know a lot of synopses of these books so I'm just gonna show them to you very quickly and hopefully I'll get more into them when I actually get to read them so without further ado let's get started so first I'm gonna show you the books that I got for myself because I only have two <laughs> The first one is The Shadow Society by Mary Rutkowski. She is the author of the Winner's Curse trilogy. I only read the first two books in that trilogy and I really want to read the third one because I was really enjoying that trilogy. It was like very heavy on the political system and I love that in fantasy books. I got this because it was on sale on Amazon. I think I bought it for like three euros or something like that. It was very cheap and I'm for all things cheap. Um, this is a YA standalone and it's like paranormal slash mystery thriller kind of thing. Basically, it's about a girl who doesn't remember anything before the day she was abandoned as a child outside of a Chicago firehouse. One day, a new guy arrives at her school and there's like an immediate attraction between the two of them. However, it's not what you think it is because they're going to be enemies and she's going to join a shadow society. So I'm very interested. I don't think I'm going to get to it this month because I still have a few books lined up that I want to get to before the end of the month, but still, it was cheap. I got it. And the next book that I have to show you is actually a graphic novel. And once again, I got it because it was on sale. Usually it was like 18 euros on Amazon and I found it for like 480. So, I had to get it, and it is The Encyclopedia of Early Earth by Isabel Greenberg. And I've heard amazing things about this um, graphic novel. This is kind of like the art style in it. It's very particular and I'm interested. Oh my god, maybe I can show you something else. Um, there you go. I don't know much about this book. Actually, I've heard more things about her other graphic novel. I cannot remember the name. It's like 100 years of a hero something like that and there's like a lesbian love story in that other graphic novel So I definitely am gonna get it someday, but this was on sale and so I got it and I cannot wait Okay, sorry There's actually another book that I got for myself and that book is Natalie Tan's book of luck and fortune by Roselle Lim I'm going to read this book next month. Actually, I was thinking about doing a food diathon kind of thing next month. I know that November is nonfiction November, but with work and stuff, I'm not gonna read nonfiction because like my brain cannot take it. So I wanted to do a readathon for books with food because like during like the fall and winter, I just love baking and cooking and stuff. So I thought that I could kind of bring that love to booktube as well. So let me know if you're interested in doing something like that. Let me know if you would like to like organize the readathon with me because like I haven't planned anything yet, but I would really Really love to so definitely let me know in the comments but this book is about Natalie she returns to San Francisco after her mother's death and she discovers that she has inherited her grandmother's restaurant so this book is definitely about food it's like an adult uh, contemporary and I cannot wait to read it now let's move on to the books that I got from my local library so the first one is The Strange Library by Aruki Murakami I've actually already read this so I'll tell you more about it in my uh, monthly wrap up but it's very short and it has illustrations in it and they're just creepy 
as hell. I love them. I mean, they're so beautiful. I really, really love them. And it's about a boy who goes into a library and is trapped there for some time and stuff happens. But then I have The Turn of the Screw. Is that how it's called? I think so, by Henry James. Uh, I'm currently reading it. Eh. It's, it's in progress. It's a work in progress. I'm getting to the end of this. It's not too long, but it's taking some time. Then I have a book that I've been wanting to read for ages. I wanted to read it this month. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I am going to start it this month because I can keep it till mid-November. So I'll try to finish it before then. I have to, I must. And that book is House of Leaves by Mark Danielewski. I cannot say his name. I'm not gonna try again because this is like my fourth time attempting to say his name and I got it mostly right. So I'm just gonna move on now. Um, and this is like a huge book and it's like, um, written like in different ways inside it's just weird 800 pages i'm never gonna finish this book but i am gonna try that's what matters i don't know anything about this book i know that it's set in a house that might be haunted i know it's creepy and that's all i need to know and i cannot wait and the last one that i got from my library is another graphic novel and I'm so excited about this graphic novel because it's years. I've been wanting to read it for years and I finally got it. And it is My Favorite Thing is Monsters by Emil Ferris. Emil Ferris. I don't know. I'm sorry. I do apologize. But like the art style in this graphic novel is just... I don't, I don't even have the words to describe it. It's just... I think it's absolutely beautiful and breathtaking and I am going to start this as soon as I'm done filming so I'm just so excited because this to me is like Halloween in a graphic novel format. I think it's about a girl who turns into a werewolf. I'm not sure but we'll see. And now very quickly onto the books that I got from work. I basically don't know almost anything about them so I'm just gonna show them to you hopefully very quickly because I don't have much to say about them because I don't know what they're about, but they looked interesting, so I got them, okay? Because they were going to get thrown away, so I saved them, okay? So the first one that I'm going to show to you is actually one that I've already read, the only one of this bunch that I've already read, and it is Let's Pretend This Never Happened by Jenny Lawson. I listened to the audiobook. This is kind of a memoir where she shares some weird peculiar experiences from her life and i just love how she writes and how she talks about herself and how she manages to be funny and uplifting even though she tackles some very tough subjects like mental health and panic attacks and anxiety because she suffers from all of the above and so she shares her dealing with her mental health issues and it's just amazing and I loved it and yeah I got the physical copy even though if I had to reread it I would probably listen again to the audiobook as she narrates it but it was there so I took it. The next two books that I'm going to show you I actually know something of what they're about so the first one is Meet Me in the Museum by Anne Youngson and this is basically an exchange of letters between a museum curator and an art lover or an art collector and they're both old lonely people and a friendship will blossom between the two of them and I'm expecting this to be just a cute and sweet story and I have a good feeling about this. Then I have the Italian edition of Little by Edward Carey and this is I think the um, fictionalized story of Madame Tussaud's life when she was still a young child. There are some um, illustrations in it here and there, but <laughs> it's a long book. I'm not gonna get to it anytime soon, but I got it and I'm happy. <laughs> then I have The Muse by Jesse Burton. Again, this is the Italian edition and it was published by the publisher where I'm currently working, well, interning, but still. Um, and I don't know much about this, but 
I've been wanting to read something by Jessie Burton for a long time now because I've heard amazing things. I know that a lot of people enjoyed also her previous book, which I think is called Miniaturist. Miniaturist? Miniaturist. Miniaturist. I think that is that... Miniaturista. Miniaturist? I think that's how you say it. The word is losing all its sense. I don't know much about this. I basically don't know anything besides the fact that it's kind of an historical fiction and maybe there are two storylines, one set in the past and one set in the present, but I don't know anything else more than that. So, the muse. Then I have Strange... Str <laughs> then I have um, Strange Weather in Tokyo by Hiromi Kawakami. I've heard good things about this, but I'm not sure I'll actually pick it up anytime soon because it features a love story between two people where there's like a big age gap and that's something that makes me very uncomfortable always like I can accept a lot of taboo topics a lot of them but a story where there's like a couple with a big age difference it just makes me very uncomfortable. I don't know why. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'll actually get to this, but yeah, I don't know. Then I have a book that just, the premise was very weird. And so it was like, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Cause like, why not? It's called Wazan by Toshimitsu Hirano. And this is basically a little tiny book with math exercises in it but it's like math interwoven with art and haikus and science and philosophy so it's something just very weird and there are illustrations in it i'm not sure what this book is actually about but it's like it's a weird concept and i'm here for it and last but not least i have two more graphic novels no idea whatsoever what they're about but they were cute and that's why I got them. <laughs> so the first one is this Idiari di Este by Riyad Satouf. I think it was translated from French and yeah I think it's just the life of a young girl and it's just a series of vignettes. Yeah this is all that it is. That's it. Um, and then I got this other graphic novel that has beautiful illustrations, but it's actually in French and I don't speak French at all. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm never <laughs> gonna read this, but I'm gonna look at the illustrations because they're beautiful. So um, it's like Le Sixième Dalai Lama, volume one. Is, is that... I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe there's like an Italian edition of this. I don't know. I didn't even check. But like, it has the cutest little illustrations. Oh my god. I mean, come on. They're beautiful. I just love it. I just, oh my god. I just love them. I think they're beautiful. So, yeah. I just got it. I just took it. I couldn't help myself. I have a problem. I know. So this was it for my October book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit all over the place. I know, but this month was just like all over the place for me. It was just a mess. So the book haul is just reflecting that so it's fitting um i hope you enjoyed watching this video please let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books uh if you think that i will like them if you have any idea from like where should i start and if there are some books that i should give priority to just let me know in the comments because you guys know that i always love talking to you and i wish you all a great day and i'll see you soon with another video warm hugs